What's up guys, Mickey Mickey Motions here and this is a open BVE commentary and you're probably thinking what the hell is this game? Well, this game is actually a, a simulation for trains. The reason why I'm playing this game is because this is a new series called Weird and Wonderful Games and basically in the series I only play the most random games which you have probably never heard of. So guys, Please give me a game, a different game with the wonderful game that I can play for my next episode. So anyway, I picked the shortest route and this is actually the Jubilee Line in the London Underground. And if you're American, this is basically uh, the subway for uh, London. Uh, this is the route with the best graphics out of all of them. And I think this route was made in 2008 or 2009. So. The graphics are quite good for that year. I mean, compared to the other routes in this game, um, <laughs> this is probably the best one. Uh, absolutely, by far. All the other graphics just look like 2D or something. So guys, just ignore this. I've just sped it up. Um, this is not that actual gameplay. I just sped it up because um, I don't want my video to be so long. So basically, what I have to do is go to the train station on time and break at the right time. If you break too late, um, you've just gone too far and then you have to reverse back. And if you go past the red light, uh, the emergency lights, um, not emergency lights, emergency brakes go on automatically, which can be very annoying. So as you, as you just saw, that green light at the bottom, where it says L, means that I've just opened the door on the left side, which is where I'm supposed to open the doors. And the doors are not open on the outside, and that's because um, I don't have the actual train that is supposed to be used for this route. I'm using a Northern Line train because I couldn't find the actual Jubilee Line train, so sorry about that. So, anyway, um, as I speed this up, oh, yeah, what else I have to do in this game is I have to make sure I break on time. As I just said, and accelerate at the right speed. If I go over the top speed, then I could crash. Um, to be able to drive, you know, accelerate or brake, what I have to do is press uh, Z for acceleration. And there's like three different kinds of speeds. Like the first one is like um, slow. Um, second one is like steady, and the third one is fast. And there's five types of brakes, and it's basically again, once again, different levels. And um, B1 would be uh, slowest type of braking, and B5 uh, strongest type of great braking and fastest. Now, my opinion in this game is that you know it's actually all right. <laughs> I can't believe I'm saying this, but it's actually all right. You know, actually getting into this uh, train simulation, but. You know, it does get very boring. Um, I've played um, a different route before this, and it was almost like an hour long. And I was like, wow, how can you play this game? And, you know, I couldn't play an expert mode because um, it was just too boring. When I did it in arcade mode, um, which is where you have to get down time and you have to accelerate properly because otherwise the. Um, people on the train start screaming and stuff like that so the arcade mode is obviously going to be more arcade-ish more, more, more for the noobs people don't know how to play the game but yeah um, it can be quite fun but um, even the arcade mode can be boring as well so this game is probably good for like when you get on board of um, Black Ops, Call of Duty, something like that and you're really pissed off you know play this for like 10 minutes and then just come back on later again this will just calm me down the only thing that can be frustrating in this game is like when you uh, break too late that can be quite annoying um, and if there's red light there we have to turn the emergency brakes off because the emergency, emergency brakes are automatically turned on if you go past the red light so that can be quite annoying and excuse the lagginess here the frame rate just dropped for some reason. So here's how I'm gonna rate this game. Um, for its weirdness, um, that's gonna be an eight. 
uh, wonderfulness. Um, I'm giving that a six. Um, fun factor. I'll give that a seven. And gameplay, I'll give that a six. So out of forty, that's twenty-seven, which is not bad. So um, I'm just gonna leave it here. There is another station, but I don't want to drag you on about this game as I break way a bit too late. But it was just fine. So, anyways, I've hoped you enjoy this, and please make sure you check out my Facebook and Twitter. Links will be in the description. Please make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed already. Also, don't forget to tell me in the comment box which weird and wonderful game you want me to play next. So. This was Mickey Motions here, safe.